you probably want the website to be fast and attractive. That is where web development and web design come into play. But what's the difference between them? You're on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's begin. First, let's understand the notion of web design. Web design regulates all related to the visual aesthetics and usability of a website. Color scheme, layout, information flow, and everything else associated with the visual aspects of UI UX. Moving on to web design fundamentals. A website or app is successful if the pages and screens are well structured. That is achieved with layouts, visual aesthetics, colors and fonts, and text organized according to the principles of typographic hierarchy. Now considering web designer roles. The UX designer is responsible for how the product interacts with the user. In turn, the UI designer creates all of the screens that the user navigates and visual design elements that make this movement possible. Let's dwell a little bit on web design tools. Today, designers increasingly use Figma as the main tool for creating prototypes and interfaces. Also popular are Sketch and Adobe XD. In addition, designers use Adobe Photoshop for graphics and turn to Balsamic to quickly design structures and layouts. Now let's move on to web development. Web development governs all of the code that makes the website work. It can be divided into two categories. The app's front end is the code responsible for defining how the website will display the layouts created by the designer. The app's back end is responsible for managing the data in the database and serving that data in the front end for display. Look at the web developer roles. Back end developers handle the business logic and data management on the back end of an app. Front end developers work on client side software development, thus focusing on how users see the product. Well, Full stack developers can boast of back end and front end skills. Now let's briefly go over the web development tools. Typically, the technology stack is based on the project's needs and depends on the developer's preferences. Let's start with the Chrome developer tools built right into the Chrome browser. They enable us to edit web pages in real time, diagnose problems faster, and create better websites. All developers use version control systems. The most popular are Git and GitHub, which provide hosting and repository tools. To edit the written code, we use Sublime Text. It is praised for its speed, simplicity, and rich plugin ecosystem. Let's not forget about web development frameworks like Bootstrap. They act as building blocks and provide many features that simplify the process of development. Let's talk about key similarities between web design versus web development. Is web design part of web development, you ask? Technically, yes, because web development involves everything you need to create a website or app. While it requires different skill sets, both parts are linked. By the way, did you know that professionals who are good at skills on both sides of the spectrum are called unicorns? Now a few words about key differences between web design versus web development. As explained, at the core of web design are tasks, skills, and tools focused on design and how the product is perceived and looked at. In contrast, front-end development focuses on how the design is implemented in software and how well that implementation works with the back-end. The difference between web design and web development always was clear. Designers design and developers code. But times are changing. Perhaps someday, all developers and designers will be unicorns. What do you think? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, Share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.